Well, that oath, I think, was worse than when I got married. <laughs> Terry, he always has a recital. He's been up here so many times before. Uh, good evening, everyone, residents, staff, friends, and family. Welcome to the inaugural meeting of the 2018-2022 Town of Gardeners Council. It is indeed a great honor to give this address tonight. As your mayor, I feel truly blessed that I will have an opportunity over this new term to work with all the members of our council, the community, residents, community groups, businesses, and staff. The councillors that sit before you right now have committed their time and their energy to public service in Gravenhurst for the next four years. None of these councillors have taken this challenge lately. I can assure you that through my meetings with them over the past month, that they are truly excited and humbled by the confidence this community has placed upon all of us. Entering into the world of politics is certainly an interesting one to say the least. We do know that we will be required to make decisions which we believe are in the best interests of the community. Some will be popular, as Paisley has said. Some won't be so. Margaret Atwood said, if you're not annoying somebody, you're not really alive. <laughs> there will always be doubt in some capacity of the decisions we make. However, to quote someone else, Ronald Reagan, politics is not a bad profession. If you succeed, there are many rewards. If you disgrace yourself, you can always write a book. <laughs> and we know that to be true. Uh, as I've been saying for months, before and during and after the election, I believe there are two really significant keys to success to any job or family. And I believe those are communication and relationships. Without these two ingredients, achieving goals and objectives, will become incredibly difficult for all of us. I believe my role as your mayor is to lead, and I look forward to that opportunity to make a positive difference in our community. I believe leadership encourages risk-taking. I believe it means thinking outside the box a little bit. And yes, there will be those that say, we don't do it that way. And there will be those that say, what was he thinking? And there may be others that say, that guy is crazy. However, in doing a little more research, Alexander Graham Bell said, when one door closes, another door opens. But we so often look so long and so regretfully on the closed doors that we do not see the ones that open for us. One thing I can assure you of is that I'm passionate and I'm enthusiastic about the future of Gravenhurst. If we, as a community, are not enthusiastic about our own town, who will be? I hope you'll join me and ask, why not? I do have some goals that I would hope this council and staff could achieve over the next four years. We must address all types of housing needs. We need to pursue economic development opportunities. We need to acknowledge and assist those in poverty. And we need to connect with the youth of Gravenhurst. These, along with several others, are all, all, all attainable goals. Above all, we have a duty to preserve our heritage and enhance the sustainable environment that we so dearly cherish here in Muskoka. Our families deserve true recognition for their giving to the community through their loved one. Tonight, our families have been placed right up front so that you can see how much they mean to us and how important their support is to our commitment to political life. We cannot perform these duties 
without the patience and love of our family and friends. I would be remiss in not recognizing Paisley and her family who are sitting up front here and the example they have shown for all of us. And more on that later. I too am extremely blessed to have the support of my family who are here tonight. First, my wife Sue, who was my campaign manager. She worked really hard, by the way. <laughs> the mother of our children and my soulmate. Also with us tonight are our children, Mike, Alicia, and Laura. Thank you guys for being here for me tonight. I'm sure if all of the other counselors had a chance to be up here, they would want to thank their families as well. There's no doubt that we have been charged with an incredible responsibility. We will do our best to be the best we can be. Bill Clinton quote, is quoted as saying, when times are tough, constant conflict may be good politics, but in the real world, co cooperation works far better. I hope we will continue to cooperate and engage with the community in a variety of ways. These opportunities to collaborate will include committees, town hall meetings, special events, recognition of achievements, mayor's open doors, social media, newsletters, etc., etc. I also want to take a couple of minutes and just acknowledge a couple of people here. First of all, I'd like to acknowledge the newest member to the acclaimed club, and that is our newly acclaimed district, uh, Muskoka District Chair, John Clink. John, can you just stand up? John's here someplace. <laughs> I was trying to figure out, is that something in the Clink family? They all get acclaimed? We also have many of our staff here tonight, many of whom you know, but they are under uh, the leadership of our CAO, Glenn Davies. And Glenn is sitting over here. Glenn, could you stand up, please? Thanks, Glenn. Thanks all, for all the staff for being here. I also want to take a special moment to, to say thank you to our clerk, Kayla Thibault. Is around here someplace? Oh, she won't go down there, so uh, she wants to keep an eye on me. Um, <laughs> Um, her team, come on, Kayla, come on out here so they can see who you are. There she is. And she's had a great team working with her. The Opera House staff have also been so involved with helping to organize this meeting. Kayla always keeps us on the straight and narrow. Let me assure you of that. Thanks, Kayla. Um, finally, please accept my sincere thank you for coming out tonight to the Opera House and sharing with our new council your best wishes. Your support is very much appreciated. I believe Gravenhurst has an amazing future. With your help, we can make our town not only the gateway to Muskoka, but the number one place in Muskoka. Thank you. <laughs>